punctual programmers and timely tech talent. This is Prof G. Let's make another appointment for big learning. The time has come to build the to-do list app. Now, the reason that to-do list apps are so popular as a teaching tool is a list of information that lets you navigate to another page of details is something that you see in many apps. And passing data between screens is an essential programming skill. Now, we'll build an app so that it reflects the standard iOS interface that you'll see in Apple's own apps like Contacts, Calendars, and Reminder. This means that when you click on an existing to-do, we'll slide details from right to left, but if you click to add a new to-do, we'll lay the new entry fields over top of the list. Now, over the next several lessons, we'll introduce a host of topics, including navigation stacks, navigation titles, and navigation links so that we can move from one screen to another. We'll cover lists and list styles, how to work with toolbars, how to present a view in a style sheet like this. We'll learn about classes, objects, what it means that classes are reference types, We'll also learn how to save data to a device using Apple's simple and easy to use Swift Data Framework. We'll learn how to add data, modify data, both in a separate view or by clicking on a toggle. We'll delete data with a swipe. And we'll learn some other useful information, including how to use the DB Browser tool to inspect simulator data after a save, which is super helpful when building Swift data apps, how to overcome the simulator's quirk of not pushing data out for a save if you quit your executing app, and how to create mock data or sample data to use when working in a preview, but which won't be used when the app is executing in the simulator or on a device. And we'll learn to use a segmented control to alter how data is ordered or limited in our app by using initializers, predicates, and sort and filter options. Are you ready to set a date for app development? Then let's make an appointment with Big Learning so we can build this app and mark that task done. Let the hacking commence.